what's up everyone spring decisions here and yeah today on the energy mover i want to discuss something because i actually watched a segment which i'm going to be showing you guys in just a few minutes and it deals with tony robbins and one of the things he speaks about in every morning taking 10 minutes for yourself and generally what that is it allows you to be able to take on the struggles of the days especially in this time as well as it allows you to free your mind to be able to better accept and prepare and take on the challenges of the day whether it's work whether it's children whether it's co-workers whatever so watch this clip and we'll be back to have a convo and then we're going to take 10 minutes for ourselves to do a little bit of meditating and getting ready for our day but we all want to be able to change the way we feel and that's what i spend my life showing people how to do and what most people don't know is emotion is created by motion the way you move determines the way you feel you have 80 different muscles in your face 80. for most people this is the largest area of unemployment in the country <laughs> they use their ma the face the same way they feel the same emotions over and over and over again so what i was saying is i have this deal with myself called priming every day i say look you got to have 10 minutes for yourself. If you don't have 10 minutes for yourself, you don't have a life. And I'm not going to hope I feel good. I, don't, I just got back of uh, six countries in 12 days. I was in India two days ago. Wow. And I woke up here and wanting, like, feeling like I'm, somebody ran me over with a truck. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But and you I, got yourself psyched up. But, and... the, but the way I did it is I do this process. And it's 10 minutes. I put some music on. I do this massive change in my breathing so it radically changes the way I feel. And then I do this three-step process. First, I do three minutes of gratitude where I think of three things I'm really grateful for. And I associate. I don't think of it over there. I feel it. And the reason is, when you're grateful, you can't be worried. You can't be fearful. When you're grateful, you can't be angry. And anger and fear are what screw people up most in their relationships, mm -hmm. in their life, in their business. So I wire myself. I was saying to you that most people want to be happy, but their habit is to be worried or pissed off or frustrated <laughs> or stressed. And so they're, they've got a highway to stress and they've got a dirt road to happiness. So I wire myself. I've got a highway to gratitude, which changes all your emotions. And then I do it three minute process of kind of a prayer for my family and friends. And then I do a three minute process of the top three things I want to accomplish. I see it as done and I feel it. I'm done in 10 minutes. So sometimes I go 20, but my deal is 10. So there's no excuse not to do it. Listen, we've all had times when you snapped at somebody and you felt bad because it wasn't them. It was the state you're in, right? Well, there's no excuse for that. If you prime yourself, you set yourself up. They've done studies where they go to people and they have a man walk up to you and say, could you hold this for me, hand you a cup of coffee? It's an actor. And then he takes it, takes them out of his pocket, then he takes it back and says, thank you. 100 people they do it with iced coffee, 100 people do it with hot coffee. 45 minutes later, another actor comes by and says, listen, we're doing this little test for $5. Would you read this three paragraphs and answer three questions? Most people say yes. It's a little story. The questions are about the character. What's the character like? 80% of the people that got iced coffee say the person is cold and mean. Wow. 81% of the people that got hot coffee say the person is warm and gentle or nice. That's how much we can be primed by our environment. We think we're just feeling what we're feeling, but our environment, if we don't take control of our environment, it takes control of us. Pretty wild. What's up everybody, Energy Mover here, and today I actually want to do a quick little session. Because one of the things I like to do is whenever it's a beautiful day such as this, which is kind of often from where I'm at, is to come outside and do just a little bit of deep breathing. Generally, we'll do it for the 10 minute session. And the great part about it is I have multiple phones, so I can actually set up a timer and get these things done because just like we spoke about earlier you want to take 10 minutes for yourself earlier in the day just to get rid of the hustle and bustle of the day as well as kind of clear your mind and give your you know give yourself the ability to go through the day smoother and with a lot more ease and comfort. So, got my timer set up. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? Well, it's 10 minutes. And sit down, get ready, and here we go.
Oh, wow. As our timer went off, you had an opportunity to feel the enlightened or heightened sense of hearing, the heightened sense of smell. You have a heightened sense of the sun going across your face, the wind blowing, and these things have or give you an opportunity to be more centered, more grounded, and able to slow down the world as you see it. So let's keep going. And every day, remember, take that 10 minutes, whether it's deep breathing, whether it's pranayama, or whether it's chanting. Take your 10 minutes for you so you could be a better you or the best version of you every day. Until next time.